Hey guys, this lesson is going to be on installing the VirtualBox Client Editions. First we're going to want to be logged in and have our go open and then we're going to go up to Devices, Install Guest Editions. And you'll see that the uh, CD mounts to the, the virtual machine. Just close this, we'll install it from Terminal. Let's open up a terminal window. And now let's go ahead, we're going to use the command bash, which will allow us to execute the program. Space, the path is forward slash, media. Click the tab, you'll see VBox editions. Hold the tab again, you'll see the different packages you can choose from. We're going to choose the VBox Linux editions and press enter just let the uh, auto installer run so you see it failed here at the kernel so that means we're, if that happens to you we're going to want to install the newer kernel and we're probably going to need to install the compiler. So just follow the commands. We'll go over on how to how to, we'll break down these commands later on in another lesson. Let's just do yum space dash y space. We're going to do kernel. That'll install the latest kernel for us. Space. Oh, hold on. Install space kernel space kernel devil space gcc. So this will in install our latest kernel with our latest kernel development packages as well as our C compiler. Let's go ahead and press enter. Give it a second to run through. And you'll see that it's loading up the mirror so it's looking for the locations on where it's going to download these packages from. So now it's going ahead and going through the uh, packages, letting the, letting the system know which ones are going to be updated and installed. Usually at this point we'd have to mark yes, but since we use the dash Y, it automatically marks yes for us. That way we don't have to wait around. At this point, I've finished installing the new kernel, the kernel devil. And I've gone ahead and restarted my OS, and you'll see now that it's a much bigger screen. And let's go ahead and we could go and go to machine, switch to full screen, and you'll see that it automatically puts us in full screen mode.